Hello everybody, how's everybody doing? <clears throat> Hope you're having a fantabulous night. We're having we're having boiled potatoes, cornbread, round steak. It looks delicious. Paul prepared everything. I'm really tired today. Get you something good to eat, something good to drink. Pull yourself up to the table and eat supper with us. Paul will pray and I've got some great news. Lord, we thank you for this food that we're about to receive. We ask you to give us strength and nourishment and help us, the Lord, to be a light to this world. And everything we honor you and praise you in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. Amen. Went to, had my test yesterday on my thyroid. Went to the doctor today. My thyroid, nothing's wrong with it. It is 100% healthy, thank God. So, nothing's wrong with my thyroid. She gave me a book today about carb counting and meal planning. And I have to count my carbs today. And this is 39 mm -hmm. carbs. This is 39 carbs. She wrote it down to, the, she wants my carb per meal, 40 to 45 uh, grams. So, it's perfect. I lost 10 pounds. I'm tickled to death over that. I'm drinking water and I'm drinking black coffee, no cream. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think what else. When I hit to where I can't lose weight anymore, I'm going to be taking a shot once a week to help me lose weight. But other than that, and my mono is finally getting in, in better direction is starting to heal. Thank God. It's been a doozy with that one. In less than two months. Ain't been no fun. Last six months. Well, the, you've been tested the last two. Yeah. I had a little bit more potato than she does. But I have quite a few more spices and seasonings on mine too. She just has some butter and salt on hers. I've got butter, salt, rotisserie chicken seasoning, black pepper, white pepper, garlic salt, rotis uh, um, then said that, um, steak seasoning. And some white pepper as well as black pepper. When I fixed the meat, I baked it in the oven, wrapped it up in aluminum foil. Put butter on the aluminum foil before I put the meat down. Put salt, pepper, ranch seasoning, and cooked it, turned it over, cooked it a little while longer. And while it was finishing up, I got the cornbread finished and made sure the potatoes were done. Meat and potatoes, and nothing wrong with that. Mm -mm. We got our first snow last night. And it is beautiful. It was at least four inches. More than that in some places. Yeah. Right here on our porch, I was able to measure four inches. And probably more than that. So the wind, was, the wind was blowing pretty good. And it might have blown some of the snow away. I made myself some tea. She doesn't care for the types of tea that I drink, so that's one reason why she's drinking some lemon water. I mix two or three different flavors together when I make tea, whether it's hot or cold tea. My 
I thought the meat would be more tender than what it is. How long did you fix it? 20 minutes. That's why. I told you 10. It wasn't done after 10. It's still bloody. Well, you have to watch it about every two minutes after that. I want you to give him a piece of bread. That's my nails, guys. It's Christmas. Isn't it beautiful? I really like these. Oh, push me over. If it didn't have the bacon, it probably would be fine. <clears throat> that would definitely push you over. I've got some <coughs> no sugar ketchup. I was taking it over, wasn't I? You know How do you guys like the background? No. How do you like, guys like the background? I love this. But the lights are dim. They do. They do light up. But and the headlights are in the trucks. They are. Every one of them light up. Just the battery's weak right now. Um, I've got a wreath with Santa Claus in it. Don't know if you can see that Santa Claus. But we're slowly decorating. So being the key word right now. Potato is good. I love boiled potatoes. And it is 24 degrees here. Feels like 18. And trust me, it is cold. <clears throat> I know myself, I am very tickled to death that her thyroid is in good condition. You would not believe how much the thyroid actually kept the control in the body until you do some research on it. And she definitely did some research, trust me. <laughs> Are you digging the china? I'm gonna be hurrying. Yeah. Hey, boots. Don't do that again. I put a bit of honey barbecue sauce on top of my steak. With the eye around, but I call it steak anyway. There's my cornbread. The butter didn't get quite melted all the way, but still good.
okay, that's good. I'm glad you enjoy it. <coughs> We have enough. <clears throat> won't have much fat on it, does it? No. Very little. We've got just a little bit right on that side. That's it. It tastes really good. Good flavor. Mm-hmm. I'll try to show you my piece of potato if it doesn't fall off my fork. You can see the different types of seasoning that I have on top of it there. I know you can't tell which one's which because they're all blended together. But You're back. You're back a minute. The mama gets done. Was it last night we went to his sister's? Mm hmm She got on a new uh, stove. Don't even go there. <laughs> and her son-in-law and Paul helped me get it in the house. That was something else. She was something else. <laughs> Thankfully, my neighbor let me borrow a dolly. It really helped a lot getting it in the house. Because I don't think we'd have physically been able to pick it up and brought it in if we hadn't had it. I don't think so. We got it, it's got the five steps on the front porch. And the very last step, there's a um, lip where the floor of the Porch is. porch is on it. We tried several times to try to pull it up over that lip. So we ended up laying the dolly down with the stove on it and just sliding it off the dolly, then picked the dolly back up, put it back in the house, and rolled it back through the room. It was quite a bit of rearranging that we had to do to get it through there because the door width was just barely wide enough going straight through and we had to move around some of the furniture the couch and some of the other things in the kitchen just to be able to get the stove through there but thankfully we got it all done got everything put back together and she mixed supper last night or brother or her, her son-in-law yeah Had a good homemade meal. She's like, I feel like I'm trying to operate the starship. It has so many different buttons and things on it. She fixed corn cornbread. <coughs> like never figured out how to cut the oven off. It has five eyes on it. It's different. Mm -hmm. Boots up here going. <laughs> I'll come here. Come here. Boots! Hey, ma'am, doggy. Puppy eyes. I made myself some hot tea earlier today <coughs> and Tammy's not even knows about this yet and when I first drank it it was hot and I do mean very hot and my tongue is still burning <laughs> it's, it's sore Burn, it'll heal burn it. your tongue? Yeah. Just put you some sugar on your tongue it'll heal it up quicker. Yeah, it's alright. <laughs> <laughs> 
He was taking trash out last night. And I was drinking my coffee at my sister's. I'll be back. And she, I need something to walk the finger with. And uh, she said, I think he fell. I hear a bup, 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 bup. <laughs> Went outside and fell down five steps. His, his uh, left butt cheeks is sore. I'm telling you, it was, it was really, it was beautiful. Snow ain't nothing to play with. Cause it's slick. When you think it's not. Her porch steps is covered. Just got a little bit of fat on it. I'm gonna eat it. Nope. <coughs> oh, I'm not done eating, bud. You stay back there. <coughs> Paul Confusy. He's right in front of the camera. Uh, he'll be all right. They can see me eat. <coughs> Normally when I go down my sister-in-law's steps, I go down them pretty quickly. And I was wearing my tennis shoes last night and not my boots. So I didn't have the traction that I normally have. Back up a little bit. Thankfully I didn't hurt nothing real bad. My, like she said, my butt cheek's sore, but... He's all right. Get up. He's fine. You know, got my foot hung between two of the rails. He's always, rails. always in a hurry. I don't know why he's always in a hurry. That's one time you didn't help uh, skip and jump down the steps in it. I didn't hop and skip. Well, you should have uh, planted your feet better. Especially covered the snow. But it's all good. It's not one of my favorite steaks. If it had been marinated, it might have been better. And I cannot stand sirloin. I don't, I don't like sirloin at all. Pips over like I don't know what. Don't move the camera, bud. Boy, you like this steak, don't you? Oh, that little tail's going to 90 mile an hour. I don't know if you can hear him or not, but <coughs> she gave a little piece of her steak to mask. And he is purring up a storm. Eh? Don't give Boots potato, he won't eat it. He says he's not a meat and potato dog. He's a meat dog with no potato, right? That's for Pepsi. Okay. Come on. 
No. Come here. Come here. Come on. Lay down. She asked me if I could give myself shots. I said, honey, I've got tattoos. What do you think? You know, good point. <laughs> There's been times in the past when I've helped her with her shots. When she had to have them before. And there's been times she helped me when I had to have shots. Yeah. The, <clears throat> the one on that, it's like a pen. Mm -hmm. And you just, it's, a, it's about as long as my meter needle. Mm -hmm. It's about that long. It's broad enough to go through the skin? Yeah. Strap. I'll tell you what, I hope everybody's got heat because this would be a bad time not having no heat. Wouldn't be good. Oh, yeah, I would oh, agree. That would be awful. We came back from the doctor's office today. And it was cold. <laughs> I had the heat set on 70. It was, I mean, it was. If I'm cold, it's cold. I was fine, but anyway. Of course, she didn't have a coat on when she went out. Or I hate come coats. I don't like coats. If I can get in the car quick enough, I, am not, I ain't going to wear a coat. I don't know. What? Mom will be there in a minute. Mother hen. Sitting in the doctor's office. No, I was, I was in where they I took my blood and she was going through the charts to see what she wanted, how many tubes and what she wanted tested. And every one of the computers shut down. They couldn't see patients. They couldn't, they couldn't do nothing because there ain't nothing paper no more. It's all computerized. So everybody came <coughs> off their computers and then they all... Count to ten, and then after they count to ten, all of them turned them on at the same time. And thank God they worked. I, I told the lady, I said, I think it's because the clouds are thick and it's snowing. I think that might be a problem. And, so, and one of the guys come out of the room said the same thing. She said, didn't you just say that? I said, yeah. <laughs> what? Come here. Come here. Come here. Boy, you can tell I'm country. Come here. Yeah. The uh, wreath that we have back Mama's here behind baby. us in the window. We have another wreath in the two windows we have in the living room. If she has similar to When, I, when, God knows when, when, whenever we get, I'm done for New Year's, we get all decorations put up and stuff, I'm going to video. Yeah, Mama's. We tried to make a video of the lights down the road. And early one last night <clears throat> didn't work too good. He didn't have the light, the the light on my phone, and it did. I mean, I, I wanted you guys to see how hard it was snowing. I mean, it was snowing so hard I couldn't see. It was so bad that she had to leave the low beams on because when you put high beam on, she couldn't see. Uh, I mean, it was hard, but I loved it. I loved driving in it. I loved. Being in it, I just, I love snow. Thankfully, we got good tires on the car and didn't have any siding going on. What are you doing? Come here. Come here. Come up here. <laughs> yeah. Mama's little girl. Mama's big girl. She don't like being on camera. She don't like her picture taken. 
unless you can tell he's snug as a bug in a rug. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Well, I enjoyed that meal, and I'm glad I didn't go over my carbs. Oh, I'm glad for you myself. That's good. <laughs> she was going <coughs> what I can eat and what I can't eat, and the breads. And there's partridge. Is that how you say it? It starts with a P. She said it's really it's parsley. Kind of, no, oh. it's kind of a thin piece of bread. She said that. It only has like 22 carbs in three slices. She said I could eat that in the mornings, toast it, and leave it with uh, like some eggs. Three pe three little pieces of it is 22 carbs. She said that that would be perfect for in the mornings. I, thought, I don't know what you're talking I, about. I'll know when I see it. I think I know what you're talking about. I don't know the name of it. Partridge, portridge, or something like that. Maybe it's pottage. But anyways. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed watching us eat because I sure did enjoy the meal. What little bit I get to eat. I always have to share my booty. <coughs> Cats ain't too keen on, on that kind of meat. Turkey. Or ham. Ham or oh, chicken. No. Oh, Lord have mercy. And fish. They're not too keen on fish. Weird. <laughs> to me, that is weird. Every cat I've ever had loves fish. No. And they use... These, they the, don't... The cats that I've had in my past, don't care they would love sardines. But these cats don't like sardines. Oh, no. We put some down for them when, in our first place we lived at. I put the can out. I don't know about these. These were babies. Mmm... That's probably when we was over there. Anyways, first time I put a can of sardines out, they wouldn't even touch it. None of them did. Mm -mm. I think our dog ended up getting <laughs> If it was blue, yeah. <coughs> he did anything. Yeah. I don't care what it was. You had to watch him real close. He was our house cleaner. <laughs> if there's anything onions, edible on the floor, he would eat. can't have onions. He loved grapes. He could Honest to God, he's like, he had the, when you eat a, like a grape or something, you had to watch when you eat grapes or something, because <laughs> that dog would eat anything. I'm talking anything. I miss Blue. I miss yeah. him. And I'm sure some of our fans do, too, because he always barked when he was on, when we was a video, and he would always bark. Get on my beloved nerve. Well, guys, we're going to get off here. Love you, love you, love you. <clears throat> Santa's coming to you. And Rudolph. I think it's Rudolph. I can't tell who it is. Anyways, see you tomorrow, guys. Lord's willing, and I've got the strength of video. Bye, guys. Thanks, guys. We'll God see you bless. later.